I'm gonna milk a cow for the very first time. It's about 6.30 and we just woke up yes. from our first night and the BOMA. It's been an amazing experience mm -hmm. so far. It's hard to explain the experience because it's so, so rich in mm -hmm. like culture. Yeah, so last night um, they sang and danced. They had fun and this was all under the stars. It was so beautiful. The experience of hearing the voices mm -hmm. of the music, the fire, the stars. Mm -hmm. The kids laughing, just mm -hmm. everyone having a really good time. It's just so unique and full of culture. It's great being here. It's mm -hmm. just just with a lot of our travels. It's, traveling's different when you obviously when you're there, but mm -hmm. just the smells, the sounds, the mm -hmm. the energy you get from mm -hmm. different different atmospheres and cultures. It's it's really unique. It's a great experience. I love them here. They're very excited that we're here as much as we're excited to be here. They're so kind, so generous, so loving. They're like inviting us as their own. They're so, so nice. And bringing up the point of loving, that's something that Kipe keeps bringing up. In their culture, they they want it to be known that they love everyone, that they accept everyone. So it really shows. It's, yeah, it it's does. Really Today, we're going to be doing a few things that the Messiah do. So um, we're going to milk a cow and learn how to start a fire. Sleep last night was not great. <laughs> the bed's not covered, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Like this bed is um, really interesting how they made it because it's made out of cow dung and urine so that it sticks together. And then they have like different types of wood. Mm -hmm. But like everything that they have, they made with their own hands, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like from their bathroom to their shower to all their rooms like this. So amazing how they're using like nature to help build something. Yeah, and one thing I am taking away is just how efficient they are. So you know, someone's cooking the meat, someone's cutting the vegetables, mm -hmm. someone's you know doing something else, and then it all comes together so perfectly. They all work together, mm -hmm. and it's interesting to see because while they were cooking, the warriors were cooking, mm -hmm. and um, like when they were dancing, the warriors were singing and dancing, and you'll see like the young boys like they're participating too or they're getting excited so you can see that they're excited when they will become a warrior yeah the influences it's yeah. cool to see the influence that they have on the, on the young kids mm -hmm. and just the culture that they're being grown up in yeah i'm really glad we got to experience this mm -hmm. okay so we'll see you later all right <laughs> The morning starts with everyone from the Boma working together to feed the cattle. The Masai bring out a certain amount of cattle at a time to feed them. They usually bring them out to eat grass, but since it hasn't rained in a while, they feed their cattle maize and sunflower corn. Livestock are very important to the Masai. The Masai have cattle, goats, and sheep in the Bomas. The Masai tribes base their life on their livestock since they do not have any other business other than their livestock. It is the only asset that the Masai depend on. Their cattle are used as a means of transportation when they need to get food or take their children to school. It is also used when someone wants to get married. If they want to get married, they will use their cattle as an exchange or use it as a dowry. The cattle, sheep, and goat live in a fenced area which is surrounded by a certain type of tree called acacia. It has very sharp thorns which are used to keep their livestock safe from predators like hyenas, lions, and foxes that may roam around the area. Milk a cow for the very first time. I'm so nervous. Oh. <laughs> you have to stand like her. Because our cow is not like a. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're 
That was the experience. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. It was hard at first, but I did it. Wow. How come she had to tie that? How could she tie it? Why did she tie? She tie so that she, can, she he will not eat. Yeah. Oh. I'm <laughs> 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 we just, well, I knocked the cow, he didn't knock the cow because knocking a cow is the woman's job. It was very interesting yes. and very different. Yeah. Um, it was cool though. I can now say that I knocked a cow. And then after that, we learned how to make fire. Yes. Quick. Made it so quick. So it's so interesting how they use their resources around them. You know, yeah. To make fire. Donkey dung. Um, yeah, just the wood, and then that's it. Yeah, they use a white their knife and their uh, wood, and they um, apply pressure so that they could start a fire. And then they took donkey dung and broke it in half and then put like the fire in the middle or like a flame I don't know what to call it and then it created a bigger fire which was super cool we are now heading over to Kippa's mother's house for some tea she is making the tea from the spices that came from the local market and the milk that was collected earlier in the morning Kippe and his two warrior cousins have joined us his brother Baraka assisted his mother in serving the tea the Maasai homes are semi-permanent and made from natural resources. Their homes are circular shaped and made out of grass, twigs, cow dung, and urine. This is where they cook, eat, and sleep. When you walk into the home, you'll first notice the kitchen and dining room. There is a fire pit where they cook most of their meals. There is also a small window that lets in the light from the outside and helps the smoke escape in cooking. You can't see it from this view, but there is a wall that separates the bedroom from the kitchen and dining room. Now, who is in charge of building their homes? The women are. It can take them a few days to a couple of weeks to finish their homes with the help from neighboring women. Some of part of the body, especially yeah. bone, legs. If you have legs broken, oh, you have maybe like a, any kind of food. For oh, wow! wow. wow. So it's just really it's not one plant. Yeah. Let us go eat. Yeah. And only the men, as I told you, that's who they come. She it's can't okay be that I'm She's here. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was this yesterday? Oh, this is yesterday. Oh, okay. What part of the goat is that? This is this part. The ribs. Yeah, ribs. Yeah. Yikes. Because they mix with medicine, that's why it turns like this. They boil it without syrup. But they don't put any kind of food. No, any kind of food. Only natural one. Mm. Yeah. What part are they eating? They part in the egg. They are part of the eggless head. That is the head they're cutting. When they was um, cooking, it was mixed with the med uh, medicine. Medicine is in it. 
Mm. That's why you can look like that, mm. but not. Oh, the medicine is in it. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So, the medicine is so there. <coughs> Hello, I'm next to that. So, mm. if women want to do this, how do they do this? If they can't, they, they can't eat this, the women? They eat. But they just can't see it being made? Yeah. The rest are part <coughs> that they send to the woman, to the home. They bring them. Mm. So we're eating like this. Mm. Okay, there we go, Dada. Kata. Can I give you a piece? Maybe mm. this one? Sure. Yep. Right. So now they filter the, the medicine. Thank you. This here is medicine. What's inside it? The kind of house. Mm. And it will cleanse you and clear things from you. So here is the soap and the way to clean your, your, your heart. So, like oh, because you did it like me using a napkin. Yeah, you have to use for so that you can remove all the fat. What kind of tree is this? This is the one, the big one. Thank you, Kipe. Look at you, always being so thoughtful. Don't you? Okay. This is nature. Wow. Thank you. Wow. And Kepe knew that, noticed that we needed to wipe our hands. He got us leaves from this fig tree so mm -hmm. we could wipe our hands and take away the oil. Then he noticed that I needed a toothpick. He went ahead and found a plant that had a sharp thorn and we're using it as a toothpick. This is incredible. Yes. We what? We drink water. Wait, we're not allowed to drink water? <laughs> okay. Now it's time for the children to clean up. Here you'll see one of the boys gathering the cups while Baraka cleans the pot that was used to make the medicine. What is he cleaning it with, you ask? Elephant dung. Here is Kippe's school that he has for the children. And then here is their Boma. This is the room that we're staying in. We have Kippe. Daryl is cleaning up. And this is a bed that we slept on. So this is made out of cow dung and urine. And then here, we have cow skin, very cool, very nice. And the house was also made out of cow dung. I'll bring you to the other parts. So if we walk a little bit more, we have 
keep his parents' house here. And that's where we drank tea this morning. So, that's the door that you would use to cover and you would shower in here. So last night they had like two bowls here and then a bucket of water and you pour your, you pour your water into the bucket and you clean yourself. We have more houses here and all around. This here is where they had the cattle this morning. And this is where you would go if you wanted to use the restroom. Open. <laughs> there is a little sheet here that hides you. You would go ahead and squat in there and use the restroom. You have toilet paper. There is water and soap there to wash your hands. And then there is water here to pour down after you use the restroom. So there is where you have Kippa's dad's where he stays. And you have other homes. And this is cool and awesome. Hello. Oh. Wow. What are you going to use that for? Fire? Yeah. Yes. Our ride is finally here and we are leaving the Messiah Village. It's a wonderful time here. I enjoy that. It was a great experience, something we will never forget. We truly appreciate being able to come in and experience this. So thank you, Kipe. We appreciate you. Hi. 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 Bye. Bye, Baraka. I thank you. Ashina Lang. Ashina Lang. Thank you. Bye, good luck. Good luck. Bye, good luck. Bye, good luck. Bye, happy. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Tell Ashina them that we said thank you so much for their hospitality. Yeah. And they're so kind. Yes, and we enjoyed our time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>